Hey, and welcome back to VFX Tutors. I'm Josh, as you probably already know. Um, and yeah, we're going to be continuing with this project that we're doing. So we're now moving on to shot work. So we now need to... It's all gone out filmed. Uh, we've put, we've shot it, so now we need to get the, the footage off the card. And this time we've shot with a red epic, so we can have we, we don't have to, but we're going to use red Cine X because um, it's free, and you can get that off the, the red website as well. And we'll go through the process of transcoding uh, red red footage so yeah so if you've been joining this uh, series so far don't forget that like and subscribe it really does help um if you've got any questions drop uh, any messages in the comments and stuff but um yeah let's get going okay so i've opened up red cine x or red cinex professional um and you can download this all for free so i'm not going to go into details of what everything does we're just going to go through this as, as quick as possible um so it's useful for people that just want quick tutorials it's not necessarily a uh, one that needs to be gone for a long time. So when you open, you have this UI, and it's fairly simple up until the point when you go to your drive. So I'm going to go over to here to where all my drives are, and my local disk H A O three. This is just straight off my uh, uh, red uh, mini SD. So this is straight off the camera. I've not done anything. And if we click on this, we can see that it's loaded in our footage. And these are all the shots that we did on the day. So we're not going to do all of them, we'll just do one. So let's just pick one, it doesn't matter, uh, I'll, I'll go through it, I'll do all these afterwards, and then we'll do the editing together, because um, this is just a lot of data. So you can see it's at 5K, and it'll have all the metadata, so it'll shot on, uh, it'll give it a sing, it, it go, oh, let me hover over it, with a red code 61 compression at 5K, for the Mysterium X, and the legacy, yep. Yeah, and 24 frames audio, we don't have any audio, and the file size is 1264 megabytes, which is not so bad. So all we need to do is click and drag our footage into here. And you'll see that's not really done anything yet, but if we double click on this, it will now open up our sort of our, our histograms and all our sort of image editing stuff we can do here. So depending on what computer you have, Probably the main thing that you want to do here is actually just like, if you're struggling to work on this, you can work on a lower resolution, but you can obviously see it's very low, it's not great, and uh, yeah, it depends on what you got, and if you're doing lots of shots, but if you're just doing the colour, you can get away with it. Cool. So we've loaded that in, and we've got this here, and over on our right, we've got our, pretty much all our grading tools. I'm just going to open all these up and just sort of talk through them. So we've got our look presets. Not going to use any look presets at all. We're not really going to change anything color graded, but I'll still go for it. Got a noise reduction uh, part here and our image primary, which is a lot of this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, so we've got our ISO, exposure adjust, and you can see how much it changes in our uh, histograms. And when you play with this, you can just reset if you go to the MD, you can reset to metadata values or reset to do default values. And you see if default, and you see you get, you get different values here. So you want to make sure you reset it to the metadata values because that's what we shot it as. And then you've got your uh, white balance, which can make it warmer or colder. And your tint, which obviously is going to make it tinted. Our image grading, our 3D LUT, we have no file for it, so we're not going to do that. And same with our 3D LUT, CDLs, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Curves and contrast, if you do any grading, you probably want to do most of it in here. So you've got your, uh, let me remember this, so your highlights here. See, it's, You can see it's uh, drastically changing. Uh, we have these your mid-tones. Uh, yeah, shadows, I believe. I might be wrong. I have to double check that. I don't do this off. And then you can switch between your red, green, and blue. So we're not going to change anything there. Just close this down. Output transform. And you've got post image effects, which we're not going to do either. But yeah, best thing to do is have a play through all of these. I don't want to make this a really long tutorial. I want to make this as quick as possible so it's useful for people that just want to quickly do stuff. And you pretty much have all of that there. So now we just need to go to export. So if we click on our export tab, we have our footage here, but we need to go to our timeline. We actually need to click and drag this to our timeline. 
So you could probably edit edit this in here, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna do I'm just gonna pick my shots and then I'm just gonna edit them in the cut later. Then I'll decide my uh, frame ranges afterwards. So we've got we don't necessarily need our audio channels because we didn't record anything. So to export out our our well transfer code our footage, we need to go to our presets over here. And currently we don't have any presets. We've got a new preset here, which I've done before. So I'm going to click on this little plus sign here, create a preset, and we'll call this um, B001, because that's the shot. Uh, nope. Okay. So you can name it that. Go to Format, and obviously you've got your, res uh, your t file type that you want here and what container you want to do. Um, I'll probably do open EXR because that's how I want to exploit it out. It depends. I might give you um, JPEGs if it's too heavy. And you've got your output resolution. So at the moment it's set to clip, which is the native resolution, which is 5K. Or you can have it render out at 4K UHD and it will clip and crop it. I want to leave it as my clip and I'm going to edit that in... I'll edit my resolution when I see it, and because I'm going to do my editing in, in Resolve as well. I just want to transcode it in here. And you've got DBayer settings. You could probably leave these as they are. Um, I would leave most of this as standard. Uh, export pipeline, so your graded, uh, your sort of color science. And you have ACES here, which is widely used in VFX. But I'm going to leave it on the full graded IPP2 mode just as standard. We're not going to worry about ACES at all because we're just doing this as our personal projects and you should just focus on working in a very basic color space at first. And our IPP2 output transform is our color space. It will put it in a Rec709 color space and our gamma curve will be linear. You see you've got other ones here but we're going to leave it on Rec709. And as for output file name, Oh, we want to have a what's that? Cut output of clip file name, custom output, and we're gonna go browse, and go to one of these drives. Um, let's just make a folder quickly. Uh, go to trans code and select folder we'll give it a un unique name and click OK generate redline batch script for no oops, I don't think we need we'll need that advanced dragon debayer um, we can have a look at this amount radius threshold I don't think we'll need this but we can try it and we'll just click save. Uh, OpenEXR has been selected as the format, but has not been set up. Please click the setup button. Uh, sorry, yeah, setup. Compression. Da -da 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 -da. I'm sure we should probably use a compression, but I'm um, just going to click none and click OK. Cool. Now we've got our preset B01 here. And in our timeline, and we we'll see we haven't got anything. So if we select our preset, you see it's highlighted in yellow. So now, if we select this, uh, we want to call this B zero B zero zero one underscore B G O one one. And that will go through and start running. So, and that's pretty much it. Um, probably could have done that a lot quicker. But yeah, um, it, it, <laughs> 10 minutes ain't that bad. But um, yeah, and yeah, and that'll export out and we can check those afterwards. So I'm gonna go through and do the rest of the shots. And then in the next one, we'll go through and just do a quick edit in a 
resolve or premiere so we can get our frame ranges then yeah we, we're getting pretty close to actually doing some actual shot work so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial it's been quick but um don't forget that like and subscribe um drop some comments in the comment section it's always nice to hear from you uh yeah and uh we'll see you in the next one uh thanks for watching